Hi guys, so today I thought I would show you how to clean your portable um, airbrush compressor. So this does need charging so I'm going to have to put that in while I clean this and hopefully it will um, be charged when I actually need to use it. I am going to just use it for two seconds now. So the first thing I need to do is get rid of any access um, paint so I have sprayed it to get rid of most of it I just need to make sure that that is running um, clear or clearish before I start clearing this out properly so just use a bit of tissue I have also got a little pot that I'll show you that in a minute. Let me just get this cleaned through. So I like to pump it like that sometimes just to give it that full whack of air going through it. So look at that. I didn't think there were hardly anything left in there, but obviously um, look at all that. it's just got all that out and it's folded that up so I can't see that so while I'm clearing this I'm going to leave this part on charge so while I clear this part okay when it decides to twist off right so I'll just put that piece so this is yeah I, I call it my pen because that's what it's like it's like holding a pen Right, so I'm going to take that to bits, but let me just show you this. So this is um, you clean, put cleaning fluid in and put your acrylic brushes in just so that they don't touch the bottom. But I've just got this off again for that. I'll just take that bit off and then I just put my hand over and spray it in there so there's no fumes coming about. But that's what I normally use, but I just wanted you to see on the paper what comes out as you're cleaning this right then so to take this to bits we start with this part first so you can see the muck still in there so i like to set mine out see muck in there so where am i going to start so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to take this back end off and just put this up there so when you've done this, that's your needle. So your needle is very fragile, it's very delicate. So to open it, I turn it towards me. Just slightly, don't have to do it too much, just so that this will move. So I'm gonna pull the needle out. So I do it really slow because the tip of this needle is so fine. Right, so I'll show you that. So you can see the muck and how fine that needle is. So I'm just going to put that on there as well. And then we're going to turn to the other end. So this is where the brush needle comes out. So this is nearly done. So that's the first small part. Then that has got a second part there. So I'm going to take that piece off. I'm going to be a lot more careful this time. And then you're left with that piece. So that bit, I do not mess with this piece at all. I just, I don't. If you take this off, there's a note down there that I actually clean. So I don't really take this off. So I could leave it like that for now. So the next part I like to do is I get some airbrush cleaner and a cotton bud and I'm going to start with these metal pieces so just make sure I'm cleaning inside but the cotton buds seem to fit perfect in most of these parts so I'm just going to, just going to twist that 
and get any pain off inside there put that back on there same for this one so as you can see all the pain is spodging out of there get it clean and then clean this part this is where your needle comes through so you need no paint to be able to dry on there let's double check that side so that's clean like there okay so onto this part again i'm just going to take a little bit this close up so you can see I'm barely touching this now because this again is so delicate so I'm just wiping upwards with no pressure whatsoever on this because I don't want to burn this I don't want nothing on this to have a bend in it whatsoever so I'm just very gently but you can see still quite a lot but this is on the outside what's seeped out onto here. So just roll it on that bit at the bottom. You can see if I put it on like that, it's soaking whatever's inside there. So I'm not going to be too bothered about that at the minute. And then, I'm going to do the needle. No, I haven't cleaned the needle yet. Again, I like to put some airbrush cleaner on this I'm just going to quickly wipe the bottom part right so you can see the muck and the paint on that so I like to wrap the cotton wool or whatever you're using around that lint free is better and then as I'm pulling that down I twist it and I've just got really slight pressure on the needle so just twist it and pull it down so as soon as you get to your tip of your needle, you'll need to be very careful. You don't want that bent or anything. That needs to stay as sharp as it is right now. So you can see what's come off. So I'm going to do it again. Just twist it, pull it down. And then when you know you're coming to the end of that needle, very gently so you don't damage it and twist it off. Right. <clears throat> so next I'm going to put all wait a minute have I done this did I do this can't remember I don't think I did we're going to give it a little clean anyway just in case right so I've done everything else right so I'll put it back together again <clears throat> so to put it back together I'm going to start with the needle and I'll tell you why so when you're putting the needle back in you've obviously got the hole there and you have got to be so careful and make sure that hole and that needle are spot on before you push that needle in so go and then gently thread that back in so it, you can do quite a bit but then you slow right down because when it comes out of this end you don't want to force that you just need the slightest little bit coming through this end so i can feel the resistance now so i know it's gonna come through there in a second and sometimes you get a little bit of paint that gets pushed out so Seems to be taking ages, yeah. And I know it's gonna. There we go. It's there. You see. So I barely want. Oh, I can go back in and check that because if that's not right, it'll let too much liquid out. So I'm gonna put this back on. Be very careful of that other end while you're reconnecting all this. Right. So I'm gonna put the big piece on first. So. Again, make sure you're not touching that part there. You want to position it to go straight into the middle and then get this on as soon as you can. That makes it just that little bit safer and you know you're not going to damage it. Right then, 
So I don't, you don't have to force any of these. And then the last one is this one. So this goes on the end. Okay, right. So it's all back together. Just got to clear that one out now. So again, just shows you um, cotton, ear cotton things. Anyway, all she need to clean it, do it now. If you've got any paint anywhere, just give it a little clean. Okay, so I'm going to pop this back on now. And hopefully I haven't knocked all my settings off. I've got a certain pressure I like on these. So if it's not right, I'm not going to be happy. I do normally knock it though, to be honest. Right then, let's have a look, see if I've knocked it. So if you've cleaned it properly, you shouldn't have no air bubbles in here. So let's switch it on. All that. And I've just cleaned it. Right. So that is what's been in this little bit that I've not cleaned. So now I'm putting clean liquid in here. That should basically be nice and clean by the time I've done this a few times. Right, so as you can see, I've one pulling that back when that liquid are coming out. So that tells me I haven't put my needle in far enough. So I'm just going to take this off. This is why I leave that off sometimes, I don't. So I'm just going to push that down about a mil, if that. Okay, so let's see. I can only tell on my glove. So when I go over my glove now, there should be no water. So as you can see, there is. So that means the needle's not been pushed back in right. And there's a gap down here. So I'm going to do it at a mill, barely any pushing down with that needle. It's got a right sweet spot and if you push it too far down you'll stretch. Right. So there's no water coming out of there now or paint or anything. Let's just fill it up just to make sure. Don't want to be, um, just need to knock it out. Right, let's have a look. Nope. So if I pull this back now, the yes. Okay. So if you do this fine and barely pull that lever back, you're gonna get a fine mist. If I go back in and pull this lever all the way back now, you can see the pressure that I work on the bare okay so i'm just going to pump that just to so by the time we sent it i should be able to do it one more time there should be no yellow whatsoever If you were going to use the airbrush again, you could just clean this out with liquid and then leave a bit in there so no um, seizes up. I do that if I'm going to be doing another client and stuff. So you could always do that. But if you're putting it away for the day, then you definitely need to clean that properly. Don't leave it till tomorrow because it will not be wanting to work tomorrow. There you go, so it's, there's an only clear coming through there now, so that's good. So once I've emptied this part, I will be I just leave that to charge up properly, and then that will be all ready for my next use. Okay, there you go, so that's nice and clean. 
and then I'm just going to reattach this and that is all done that is clean and ready for use on my next lot of nails so if you like this video guys or you want to see any airbrush tutorials let me know and I've, I mean, I've got a couple so I could put them up for you if you want to know how I use it and what designs you can do Just give us a shout and I will do that for you but other than that guys thanks for watching and I'll see you soon bye